Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle channel. Today I'm going to be doing the latest upcoming travel destinations UK part 8, so let's get right into it. Uh, now, according to Prima, www.prima.co.uk, I've got three fantastic fabulous uk staycation destinations um that uh, next year if you want to do a staycation will be fabulous to explore so let's fire away with number one which is the scottish highlands uh one of the most beautiful places in the uk and holiday destinations that you will ever see. The Scottish Islands are so breathtaking uh, that they ha have attracted the film industry with the James Bond and Harry Potter the shops uh, here. A top experience you cannot miss during a trip is a ride on the incredible Jacob Bight train which takes you over the beautiful Glen Fen viaduct. So wow, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, again next year, yeah, if it's at all possible, I'm trying to get to uh, Scotland again. Um, it'll be later on, like September, October time. Um, one of the places that I am desperate to get to is Scotland um, because it just looks amazing. And I've never been to Scotland before. My parents have, but I haven't been. So um, I would really li like to explore um, some places um, in Scotland next year again obviously if again COVID-19 will allow it just say and the government <laughs> and again most people have received the vaccination moving on is um, my county in England um, which I was born in, uh, Leicestershire. This um, Langlock County is uh, worth considering uh, for a rural escape with miles of countryside. Yes, uh, Leicestershire is pa packed with beautiful uh, countryside. Um, the con uh, countryside um, is sprinkled with cute villages and stately homes, which is um, again incredibly true. Um, we have got quite a few in Leicestershire stately homes and uh, beautiful towns and villages. Uh, next, um, in the rolling countryside clo uh, close to to the Quancestrial market town of Melton Mowbray, Melton Mowbray. Um, Melton Mowbray is famous for its pork pie so if you are a pork pie fan then um, you can sample the um, original Melton Mowbray pork pie and um, also Rad Dale Hall is a place to check out um, if, if you want to soak up tranquility in Leicestershire for a blissful spa break in the gorgeous UK holiday destination this place will leave you feeling more than relaxed you can explore the glorious grounds and gardens with long walks um, whatever the season and um, again there's quite a few also country parks to see um, in Leicestershire there's my Bosworth Country Park and ba uh, Battlefield um, and there's also uh, Burbage um, near Hinkley Co uh, Country Park and Bradgate uh, Country Park and um, 
old john country park and um also um snibston um in colville um in leicestershire country park so there's quite a few to be to be fair in leicestershire and uh, you've also got the national forest at country park um which again is a uh, beautiful to see and uh, that is at uh, Don donisthorpe um just outside Don donisthorpe so yes um again we've got quite a few country parks and um just like nature tra uh, trails like um lout nature nature trail um again a lot of um good walking places where uh, you can go for a walk and um, so again if you like walking rambling then again Leicestershire um, is a again a really good place uh, for you to um, join up um, a walking or rambling team and um, there's many around Leicestershire um, and last but not least um, is uh, the fantastic and beautiful North Wales and um, last year um, I've uh, been to North Wales and I've uh, been to some incredible places um, like Landudno and Conway and Carnarvon and Anglesey um, Island North Wales this is a picturesque part of north wales and um, it's in an excellent uk holiday destination for those who appreciate the great outdoors and um, enjoy walking and uh, love to see splendid views um, the village of betsy cohen cohen where i've been is absolutely stunning honestly um, i would definitely recommend it um, especially if you don't want a place that's too busy but still has plenty of shops to look around um it's a fantastic place to add to your at list with again um the village um of uh, betsy cohen again um has um also uh, got um like a museum and um, it's that's nice to explore um, it's also um, got some trains as well so again it is definitely a fantastic place to, it, to visit and spend some time there and um, also with the nearby Swallow Falls um, which is a, a beautiful waterfall that you can see another excellent uh, experience in north wales is by taking a steam train up mount Snowdon. if you do not intend to walk that is um, again i would love to uh, walk up mount Snowdon and uh, take the steam train up there um, again if i ever again get time to go back and visit, visit in the future um, you will uh, want to pack your camera for the views um, also does the village of Port Mira is a uni unique village um, that uh, could be mistaken for Italy and uh, well worth a look for its unusual architecture um, so yes there's lots of places in north wales that are beautiful and fantastic to visit um and wales itself um so um again anybody that is looking to uh, go to north wales um then i would definitely recommend going definitely uh, well worth it the views are absolutely stunning and beautiful um, so 
I would like to say thank you for watching please subscribe it's the red and white subscription button also click the notification bell I upload at least five times a week um, and again I enjoy talking about travel and lifestyle um, it fascinates me um, ever since I was a kid really um, going on holidays with mum and dad um, and the family so um, again please keep watching and I'm looking to get up to 2,000 subscribers as fast as possible so please keep subscribing if you haven't subscribed to my channel please keep subscribing the more the merry the Maria so I would like to say um, I'll see you tomorrow for the latest travel news worldwide part two so thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye